They have some new digs, new athletic training facility here at the Pushkar Center. What were the things that were most needed in the way that these new facilities have met what you and the program needed? Floor space was huge. We needed ample space to move around, do some uh, agility rehab, some movement rehab, functional rehab, that type of thing. We also uh, incorporated some pools back uh, in the uh, new hydrotherapy room, 27 foot long, four foot wide. There's a medium temperature pool, cold pool, and a hot tub. What are the differences? I mean, the cold tub, I think everybody knows about, and initially get the aches and pains out, things like that. What are the different temperatures for? How are those employed? Recent research uh, doing some contrasting things with respect to not jumping into a cold pool right after activity, getting you know 64 degree water, then going into a 50 degree water uh, tub, that type of thing. That's that's what we incorporated. Guys will contrast. They might be in a 104 degree temperature, 54 degree temperature, go back and forth. Uh, and just the length of pool treating more athletes. We, you know, we had a three by three, with three foot deep tub before that didn't you couldn't put too many guys in there the big guys we deal with so obviously 27 foot long four foot wide you know we get a few more guys in there talked with Drayvon a little bit about that and he said that was really big just not only from the time aspect of getting more guys in quickly but hey you're still hanging out with guys or you're still talking a little bit still bonding I know that's not the direct part of your job but do you see some of that also that the space benefits oh sure guys are doing trying to do cannonballs back there we don't let that happen but uh, nonetheless they, they are getting a little bit more camaraderie and hanging out with each other sure mm -hmm. differences from when you started here until now I mean athletic training you know back then it was thinking about taping and ankles and things like that and you've really gone to a more holistic approach does this get you close to the cutting edge of where you need to be now? It's constantly evolving. You know, technology with the, the, the technology that goes into the modalities, the approach that strength and conditioning, nutrition, athletic training, they're all hand in hand in hand. And the interactions that we have with our strength uh, staff as well as the nutritional aspect is, is huge. The, the changes of modalities, the... Uh, technology that has come along with that in the 25 years I've been here, 32 years I've been doing things, obviously is, is, is immense, and we're keeping up. Just briefly, can you run me through a daily process of meeting with those other groups? Do you all have a list of things you talk about every day, obviously players you're working with, things like that? It's really spontaneously. Just if things come up, especially in camp, time is – just very challenging you know team meetings lifting Mike's and Mike Joseph is involved with that and obviously we're a little bit freer when we're busy he's tied up nutritionally Taylor is up in the the training table with meals counseling athletes that type of thing is very difficult especially in camp to get the three entities to sit down and talk so really it's just an as needed um, spontaneity as far as we have a problem with this we need to take care of this we need to attack that that type of thing finally you mentioned always evolving and looking ahead any ideas of what's next on the horizon or is it just changing so rapidly it's kind of seeing where the market where those things go it's just seeing what uh, society evolves to technology just keeping up with things that are constantly evolving